Greetings and salutations, dear Vikings. Welcome back to our Celeste run. This time without camera because I'm not really feeling like being in front of the camera. Still a little bit, a little bit sickish, and from the last episode, I looked really like a piece of shit in front of the camera. So, therefore, without the face this time, we've just uh, talked to the Sinards, who is now suspicious about his uh, fellow citizens. He thinks that we should have a chat with everybody in. Uh, the village to see if there might be someone acting suspicious. Maybe potentially, um, you know, being a Sorax under disguise. Um, we shall find out. Uh, best place to go and talk to people is, of course, the uh, tavern. Also, looks like we can chat over here with this citizen. Oh, we'll it's rather he's silly, dropping. really. This young man. He asked me for a specific design so he could propose. So, he probably gambled the money away. Not him. Straight arrow. On the fast track to Sergeant Oraya. I asked around. So, where is this paragon of yours? Consigned to guard duty. A whole week. And that just on his return from patrol. That's weird. When you're in patrol, you should be at least getting a little bit of free time. At least is what I would do, being, I don't know, commander of the guards or something like that. You, can, you cannot grind your people to death. Well, not to death, but, you know, grind them to work non-stop. Sergeant, when can I see my Eric? He is due some liberty. Lass, I already told you. He's assigned to guard duty. A whole week of it? And that after two weeks on patrol? No. He just doesn't want to see me anymore. Now, lass, don't you fret. It's not that at all. The old man has his whole patrol on guard duty in the basement ever since they came back. Something's up. And whatever it is, it can't be good. Somebody has a patrol in the basement? That sounds super weird. Mr. Smildred. The brewer wants to know when to bring the next delivery of ale. He doesn't want it to go stale. He has his reputation to consider. If only the Stone Fist had let his thirsty patrol out on leave as usual. But now, we've only got the regulars and the ale's not moving too fast. Take him two empty barrels and get two new. It's the best we can do right now. Okay, so... The guards are also missing in the tavern. He would normally have a good drink here, but it's not happening. Also, what kind of note is over there? Can you can you read that? Okay, it's just it's just decoration. Shame. <laughs> shame, shame, shame. I really hope the developers are working on a Celesta too. This has so much potential, and they have a good hands for details. I mean, of course, a lot of uh, quality of life things are missing, but uh, still. So let's ask him. Well, Mitt, what can we do for you on this fine morning? Mm. The Sienard sent us. The Sienard sent us to talk to you. Anything unusual in the last days? Well, the Baron came back with a bunch of prisoners. Highwaymen, apparently. I'm wondering why they didn't hang them on the spot. Hanging, eh? Would that be the normal practice? Yes. You don't need that many prisoners to make them talk, if you ask me. Interesting. Thank you. We should go. Pleasure doing business with you. Stay in the light. <laughs> Still delights me that uh, this Tina, uh, that this Tina has, uh, has that beard. I can't get over it. It's so funny. Um, there we go. Let's fill that up. I have some decent coin, I have to say. So, we cannot talk to Yoris. There is a long rest thing out there and we need to find the fourth clue fourth clue is apparently over here with some citizens ha huh, the centered's up in mad why is that the whole week he's been waiting and still no meeting with the baron well that's weird usually they meet every day at least like an old couple the two of them Okay, so the Baron is up with something. He's he's doing something. He's locked up in here, apparently, the Baron. 
And he brought some guests, or like prisoners, it sounds like. I have, uh, there might be, I mean, maybe it's too obvious. But if it's the obvious cause, there might be something up with this whole lot. And I guess it, uh... It has to do something with the Baron and his uh, prisoners that he brought in. Find Sergeant Nikken. Oh, my bad. We have to go to the sergeant. There he is. Probably shield and axe, this guy. Oh, man. I'm actually wondered that I did not make myself a dwarf. Normally, I'm playing dwarfs. I love dwarfs. Dwarfs are best. Well met again. So, you've had a chance to walk around the city and hear what people are saying? So, what do you think? These highwaymen. The story with the highwaymen is also weird. Why keep them prisoner? Normally, the penalty is clear and swift. On the frontier, you don't feed idle people, particularly not scum like highwaymen. At best, you put them to work. At worst, they become fertilizer. And also the soldiers. Something's wrong. Soldiers back from a patrol denied leave, posted to guard duty instead of visiting the tavern. There are two things I didn't mention in our last conversation. Things about Roald and the Baron. Like what? What's what about Roald? When you told me of Roald's death and return his personal effects, I was speechless. Not out of grief, but because not a week before, Roald had come back from patrol. Oh, what? You mean one of them is not who he seems? Oh, boy. And the what Baron? about the Baron? I've known him for 20 years. I was a founding member of the company. Now, for the first time in 10 years, I am officer of the day posted here, and that's not all. For the last 10 years, he's always called me Joris. Now, all of a sudden, it's back to Nikonin. Something's wrong. I can feel it. Suggestions, Serge? The scene the has been your mission. replaced. He and I go back a long way. So, go to see the Baron and tell him your heirloom story. I know what his normal reaction would be. So come back and we can compare notes. And if I were you, I wouldn't mention Roald, the caravan, or anything else. Clear skies to you. Okay, so not mention Roald, the caravan, or anything else. We just want the heirloom thing to go through. Fair enough. Sounds good. And now the door to the Baron is open. The Baron's waiting for you. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Do we have anything inside here? There's a door over there. Nothing over here either. Okay, I'm I'm curious though. I'm curious, where is this leading? Is this leading to the burn? I guess the burn is up there. Door cannot be opened. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Keep a new waypoint. Nice. So something up here. Some hidden item. No. Anything on this side? To find? No. Man, I wish for a whole huge siege combat to take place. So there's so much potential for some huge fights where you have to push ladders off the wall and stuff like that. Oh wow. Hello, Baron Gromnir Stonefist. This looks impressive. Greetings, adventurers. Sergeant Nikonin says you want to see me on some urgent matter? Yes. It concerns our traveling companion, Lady Kitaela. Then let her speak for herself. My lord, before the Cataclysm, this valley was in the care of my family. Alas, only a few of us managed to survive, and none at all in the valley. A sad tale, my lady, but not uncommon. Those were dire times. My father passed away recently, 
Upon his deathbed, he mentioned some family heirlooms left in a hidden room somewhere in the fortress. With your leave, my lord, I would like to search for this hidden room and retrieve my family's belongings. Out of the question. This is my castle, and all in it belongs to me. Now be gone, and be glad that, as a guest, you are protected by our customs. Otherwise, your impudence would land you in the dungeon. Wow. That was an... friendly he's encounter. Weak. But he's a dwarf, after all. That was a very friendly encounter. Holy moly. Ah, you're back. How did the audience go? Uh, Clear terribly. skies. Well, he didn't imprison us. Just threw us out. Just threw you out? That's not like him at all. Oh? He's not always so generous to strangers? No. Just pragmatic and smart. Hmm. Smart? Smart. Of course, smart. If we assume Lady Kithaela's story is true, then arresting her or coercing her could have drawn the ire of an elven clan. A pretty stupid move for stuff which might only have sentimental value, so not like Dromnir at all. And yeah, pragmatic? Pragmatic? It would be cheaper to let you find the heirlooms under close escort. He'd demand a fee, but it's easier than having to search for himself. Fine. What do you suggest? Let me make some preparations. You go back to him tomorrow, as envoys of the Legacy Council. Okay. Take a long rest. He Fair enough. Is a nice dwarf. Yeah, definitely. He's uh, he's cute. Good. Let's make a long rest outside. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pay anything for the tavern. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I could have used the map to come outside here. Never mind. Let's take a long rest. Pretty please. Missing three units of food? Okay. Uh, cast spells. Create food. There we go. So, we are resting. We don't need to attune to any items. Do you want to pre prepare any other spells? Uh, wind wall. Create a wall of wind that causes damage, pushes creatures and objects away, and disperses fogs and gases. Sounds powerful. Sounds powerful. Long strider. It's a touch spell and holds for how long? One hour. Movement speed is increased. I mean, that's definitely something that I could buff my people a little bit with, too. Although I'm not sure how fast the time passes outside of combat. So... We have rested. Let's come to the keep. Travel has been interrupted. Sergeant Nikonin. Why are you bringing these people to me again? My lord, they showed me credentials that I thought you should see. Credentials? Mm -hmm. What do credentials have to do with Lady Kitaea's claims? I'm from the Legacy Council. My lord, we are deputies of the Legacy Council. And the Legacy Council interferes in Copperan's affairs? Quite the contrary, my lord. The council would appreciate Copperin's help. Why didn't you say so yesterday? We do not flaunt our allegiance unless there is need, my lord. Lady Kela works for the Legacy Council. Lady Kathaila has agreed to help the council in a delicate and vital matter. And what is that? Historical research. Those baubles have some historical value? We believe so, my lord. We wouldn't be here otherwise. Then why not just say so? Confidential it... matters are best handled confidentially, my lord. <laughs> mm. Then... Uh, 
shall we search for these heirlooms together? I shall escort you, and we'll inventory the historical items. Then we can discuss a reasonable share for the keep. That would be more than fair, my lord. Then please, lead the way. Where should we start? In the basement, my lord. Let's go then. Nikonen, you were right to bring them to me. Now back to your post. Yes, my lord. Back to the They're post. Back to the post. The Baron's is waiting for me. Are we going through here? There's something about deer. Oh man. I'm a little bit afraid because of her. For the sake of it, it could end up poorly badly very dangerously. Symbol is illegible. Perhaps we can find another one elsewhere. Perhaps. Copper and guard up there. Okay, do we have anything over here that might be of interest? Ah. Huh. Let's check out that chest. What do we got here? 43 gold. Dead cleric letter. A book. And that's the old book. Okay, let's have a look see. Let's have a look see here. Oh, holy twins, Carter, Juno, beloved mankind, my time is now scarce, but my faith is strong. I bid you read these words for prayers. Know that my last breath I have laid to your enemies. Know that my last drops of blood I have offered your sacrifice. Know that with my last words I praise you. Life drains from me. Do you are ever young, I die, but you shall endure forever. Let the last deeds of this mortal man be a final act of devotion. Okay. Mm, somebody died, apparently. The early days of Copperan. Some story about Copperan that we are not necessarily interested in. If you are, feel free to pause at uh, every page and go through it. That's the old book. Mudspring safe key codes. Do not communicate outside the family. Communicate at the discretion of the warden. Guest cell key. Okay. This might come in handy. Potentially. Because we, we saw that one symbol over there that we had previously. Okay. Copper and guards down there. And there's the Baron. Oh man, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Here, this is the place. And so near the dungeons. How subtle and fitting. Please, Lady Kateya, before we inventory your heirlooms, there is something I wish to show you. You will find it interesting, hopefully. It's the Baron. Is that the Baron? Now we shall all have a nice long chat together. And you will give me that crown. Oh boy. Oh boy, please roll high. Please roll high. High initiative. Copper and guards. Okay, we have one up there. One, two. Nikonen. He came as well. They have all blue eyes, just like those others who, who had blue eyes. There's a letter over there. I'm gonna stay here because you're uh, considered as half cover. And I'm gonna put a dodge action on you. Exactly, and then we can cast a spell. Where I could highlight some of you. Hopefully, is there any other lights that is important? The Baron. I wonder if I can open up the Baron's chamber. So he can join the fights. Although, I don't think he has any weapons on him, so... Maybe better not. So, enter and he's shooting. He has a 6 that completely misses. Does he have multiple attacks? No, there was just one. 
So, we have the Baron Infiltrator here with some guards. And we have one more up there. I'm gonna move in here. Actually, no, before we do that, I will maze uh, Rising Shouts so everybody gets advantage on their attacks. And then... I'm gonna go in and have... They have a shield. He has a two-hander. Let's see if we can focus on the Sorok Infiltrator first. Ah! That's a 19. Ah! That hits as well. Perfect. Action Surge. Ah! Another go hit. On. And there's the Doomblade ah! Cut. Condition Doomblade was refreshed. Beautifully. Good. Raguk. Can you be quick enough to go up there? You cannot. Okay, let's cast a spell. Let's think this through. Infiltrator. Hunt this mark on. I'm going here to bind him as well in combat. And here comes the first swing. That's a 10, thanks to the Hunter's Mark. That's another about 13. Perfect. Oh, I control him? Well, that's nice. You're gonna move up here, Yoris. What are you? You are a warrior, I guess? You have action surge. Okay, perfect. And we're gonna dash up to this target. Perfect. Then we're gonna do an action search. And first attack. Oh no. Misses. 17 misses. Wow, that means her DC must be 18 or something. 14, 15, that's a miss. They have only single target attacks. That's beautiful. That's actually super good. Um Okay. Far, it's this, just these targets. Let's see here. No ready action. Can't trip. Uh, they have all heavy, heavy armor. Therefore, let's throw up some heat metal. Natura. In the Sorg Infiltrator. Heat metal is up and going. Okay, we're good. That's a 19. That is definitely a hit. Good. Now, cast spells. Can I position myself in a way that I can see everybody? Yes. Move up there. Cast spells. And we've got to do one, two, three, four, five. So everybody gets the dots of the curse on them. Curse of the time. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. And we've got to bond with a closet for extra protection on damage. And then I'm going to try to open... The door cannot be opened. Fair enough. He attacks with a disadvantage. Perfect. That's a hit on Yoris. He's going away. Of course, we're going to do an attack of opportunity. And that guard is dead. Oh no. Sword warriors. And some blind ones appeared. Assassins. Oh, that's bad. Are these only the are these the only ones or did we have somebody from behind as well? Who did appear all of a sudden? I'm gonna go over here and we are throwing up a dodge action. With you, yes. This is a historic warrior. Oh, there's some more over here, Saboteur. Ah. Oh. That definitely hits. Our book is not looking so feisty. Uh, we're going to make another rising shout for advantage attacks here. And the uh, sword infiltrator. Ah! Perfect. One bites the dust. Up next must be or should be the assassin. Their AC is 18. We don't know the AC of the assassin. The assassin has two attacks. So let's eliminate him first. Uh, Net 20. Crush him. Perfect. 20 piercing damage. 
Oh my goodness. Dastina. Yes. Raguk. Targets the assassin. That's a miss. That's also a miss. Oh my god, the bad rolls here now. So we have the captain, we have the sub we have the warrior, we have the saboteur. Um What happens if I shove you? Push away. It's just one. Okay. Let's attack. We only got nine damage so far, that's okay. That does not hit the Stina. Good that the guards are doing only one one shot at a time. So then let's cast heat metal on in rank three. The guard up there. Wow, dead. Perfect. Perfect. Well done, Adamantius. Well done. Finally come your heat metal and your heavy, heavy damage output in some good shape. Uh, I could hasten up someone. Probably I should do that. Let's give haste to... Who's my biggest damage output? I mean, uh, Cormaker, you know, in a way, is, is the biggest damage output, but I can... Let's give it to Raguk. Raguk, you should be hastened. Here comes the saboteur. Tries to push. What the hell did he do? With a doom laughter. I have to check that out what it is. Hunter's mark is off. So, what did he do? Shoroka Saboteur activates Doom Laughter, curses all enemies in neighboring cells to suffer more damage. Yorick rolls Wisdom and is saved against the Doom Laughter. Okay, we have another Sorg Assassin who joined battle somewhere. Sorg Warrior coming from behind. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, dodge. Okay, that warrior attacks ah. with an 17. That's a miss. Good. For me. Rousing shouts. So we can attack with advantage. Then we are going for this assassin. Ah. Nat 20 again. A fight stroke. Ah. 17. Good Raguk. This time you're gonna dodge. Actually, no, you have you have haste on. I'm not gonna dodge. Definitely not. Put a hunter's mark on him. And we're swinging. That hits. He's dead. Good. That's a miss to 16. In turn. We are gonna... Attack the warrior. And shove him. Push away. Another four. No, we're not going to second hint. Over in guard. He's missing. Okay. Do not focusing hers. That is somewhat okay. Cast spell. Give me spike growth. On the warrior down there. Beautiful. And I'm going to stand up here. Hopefully getting attacked by it. Okay. 
Okay, Ragupi's getting some nasty hits in. Can't trip. I'm gonna shoot that warrior back a little bit. If possible. I'm also gonna give a shot on the warrior down there. To get the curse on. Bam, bam. Both got a shot. He moved back quite some times and have to move all through the spikes now to come to us. He's attacking with a uh, pretty nasty hit. Okay. Oh, he climbs up. He's dead. <laughs> the spike rounds, super powerful. Oh my goodness gracious. And so we are not walking through it. This is friendly fire. There's another warrior coming in. Victory is mine. That one dies from the curse. So I'm gonna come over here and take the same target. Seventeen. Twenty. That hits him. But Sally didn't cut him. Okay, Raguk. Put the hunter's mark on you. That's a hit and kill. And I can, I could run up here to help him. And I think we're gonna potentially do that. Let's see, can we have a uh, drink, 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 drink? Do we, have, do we don't have a healing potion. We need, we need, I need to redistribute the healing potions among my people a little bit better. Um, but yeah, let's go up there for the warrior and attack him to help Joris. Clearly, you have trained well. Dad was a miss. Boy, climbed up this year straight up. Nice. Net 20. Savage attack. Ooh, nice. So, Yoris. Uh, 7. That's a 10. You want to shove it down? Can I shove him down? No. I can only shove somebody who's close by. Like in a straight line. Fair enough. There we go, and we're gonna put second wind on. One. Oh my goodness gracious, what a roll. That's a 20 that misses. You need a 21 to hit the Stina. Uh, now we're gonna go for heat metal. Oh, then we'll put the spikes away. That's okay. I don't think somebody else is coming from there. Heat metal on you. Natura, Muto, there we go. He is on fire. And turn. Now. Hand trips. Is unlit. He's standing under fire. But yeah, whatever. Cancel. Move over here. Move over there. Should be close enough now. Shoot, shoot. Arcana, Evo, Give them also the dots of Curse of the Time. Bad, eh? Beautiful. Beautiful. It hits the saboteur, misses with his bite. Poison his bite. He, oh, they regenerate. Uh, you're gonna go dodge, lady. Thank you. Here comes the warrior full Ragook. He hits him with a. Oh, it's a 19. I thought it's a 21. Never mind. There comes the swing. Burning touch. One hit. Nine does not hit. Most unfortunate, that. So, Raguk cast a spell on the saboteur. Move over here. We're still in their vicinity. We're not hitting. Not leaving. More coming your way. Saboteur gets his death strike. Oh, we'll get the warrior as well? No. So, Yoris. Take him out. Very good. Very good. Very good. Oh my goodness. I was I was worried a little bit, but we, we managed. Also, Heat Metal apparently gives them disadvantage on attacking. I totally forgot about that. So, throw a cantrip. Annoying beast. Distracted by the annoying beast as well. We apply the effect. You would do He's dead. <laughs> nice! Oh my goodness gracious.
That is freaking fantastic. Raguk, what do we got over here? Money, 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 money. Sorok Poisonous Spine. And uh, Scroll of Revivify. That's it if it's, if it's needed. So, moving around here. What do we get from this? Money, money. Food. Poison. And Poison Arrows. And we're not hasting anymore. He's lethargic now. Uh, scroll of Identify. Could be for Ad Adamantus. So, how do we get in there? Not yet. Fair enough. We cannot speak to Yoris, but we can definitely open up the cell. This was harsh. Aether burn. Grunnir, thank Aena you're safe. Yes, I am. Thanks to <laughs> Joris and these adventurers, it seems. Thank you. Now, old friend, go see Atima with Joris. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. I am the Sainard, and you, you shall resume your duties. Only if our cleric says you're fit. But... No buts. I shall secure the keep and the valley till you're back. As for you, my friends, find Lady Kitaela's belongings and meet me in the throne room. Strike true. Okay. We have uh, free reign apparently over here now. So... We found a book with these symbols over here. Uh, I definitely need some healing on Raguk. So therefore I would pretty please want an 1d4, 1d8 healing touch, touchy touch on Raguk. Natura, Evo Cure. Evo Cure. And give him another cure wounds. Natura Evo Cure. Okay, and give him another cure wounds. Natura. I would love to like link up and be like give him two times a spell slot one Q wounds on him. Dun dun. Natura Evo Cure. I owe you one. There we go. Should be should be okay. Should be okay. So we got that book that said what again? That's still book. Guest cell key. Communicate at the discretion of the warden. Flower and this kind of thing up here. Right? This is looking like this right now. So. Uh, let's have a look at it one more time. So this bottom flower and uh, let's call this a crown. Bottom flower and crown. Bottom flower and crown. Hmm. Thing these two combined. So we project this here and this here. This should open me. Aha! Knew it. Knew it! Raguk, please go and uh, grab us some loot. And then we're gonna have a look at the symbols again and make the other one make uh, work. So, anything nice in here? We got a primed scimitar, magnificent gauntlets. Hmm. Is Skimitar an, an light weapon? Prime Skimitar is a light weapon. Ooh. Crafting. Thune Blade of Great Swords. Great Swords. Great Swords. Don't we have something with like a Skimitar? Didn't we have something like that? Dagger. 
Looks like not, but we might find something. So, potion of greater healing. That's definitely something we can start crafting. And on the other accounts, not so much. So, let's disable these. Good. And then we have a look at the picture again. Reads. So, we have the middle part, not as a flower, then the bottom cycle and the crown again. So we want the middle part, not with the flower thing. We want this here. Exactly. We want the bottom cycle and the top cycle. So these two. Like that over there. Okay, perfect. It also shows me on the ground. And that should open the door. Uh, voila! Beautifully. And that leads somewhere. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh! It opened automatically. Tell us, Lady Cathayla, what did you find? A gem? This is my spell book. Spell I book. remember. A wand, a robe, some money, as well as a piece of paper. What does it say? I don't know. There is only one word written on the paper. Adrastio. Is that another place? Maybe I'm a spell? not sure. I feel the pull coming back. I guess we'll soon be on the road again then. More monsters to kill. Fantastic. <laughs> what about that door? Another secret from Imperial times? Ooh. Looks intriguing. Looks intriguing. Also, there is uh, there's some loot over here. What do we have here? Oh, a new backpack. Yes. And primed gauntlets. Scroll of Ray's Dead. Primed gauntlets. And primed Morning Star. And an handy haversack. Handy haversack. Carry capacity times 1.8. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're right now busy with uh, crafting dead. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Anything else in there that we have? No. Okay. So. Poisonous bolts. Nothing yet we can do with there. Arun's light. Anything else? No. Nope, nope, nope. All is good. All is good. All is great. Oh, mine. What might hide behind this door? Well, ladies and gentlemen, beards, we will find out in the next episode. Thank you kindly for tuning in. I hope you enjoy our Solasa run so far. Please like and subscribe in the comment on the videos. And, of course, tell everybody who is also liking these kinds of games. Would lovely... Would lovely. I <laughs> would love to... Um, have more companions on this journey to chat and talk about the campaign. Until next time, bye-bye.